Thomas and Friends Storytime Reds vs Blues Starring Thomas the Tank Engine, James and the Sodor and Barrow soccer teams Based on the Railway Series by the Reverend W. Audrey Created by Britt Allcroft Read by Mark Morahan and Friends This is a story about Thomas and James Thomas is a cheeky little blue steam engine James is a bright red tender engine Both engines can shunt freight and pull passenger coaches And both engines try to be responsible and reliable But they love to race So now you've met the heroes of our story Let's begin our journey All aboard for our big adventure Reds vs Blues Thomas's friend James is a very proud engine who loves chuffing around showing off his shiny bright red paint But so does soccer team wear blue So on match day all the soccer fans cheer Thomas wherever he goes because he's painted blue But the fans never cheer James because he's painted red Early one morning, Sir Topham Hatt arrived at Tidmouth Sheds with a special job for Thomas and James Hello Thomas, good morning James Good, good morning, morning sir. sir Sodor United have a big match today against Barrow and I am refereeing the game There will be a lot of extra passengers today so the two of you must work together to take them back and forth to the soccer field at Dryor Yes, sir! Work together! You can count on us, sir! Just then, a soccer ball landed right in front of Sir Topham Hatt Some nearby workmen waved and asked for it back Over here! Sir Topham Hatt always liked the chance to show off his soccer skills here you go, lads! Sir Topham Hatt kicked the ball high into the air And then... Who kicked that ball? Sir Topham Hatt looked very embarrassed And pretended nothing had happened Oh, uh, yes, well uh, It's going to be a busy day for all of us So, uh, <coughs> on your way, you two Yes, sir! Right away, sir! <laughs> Later, Thomas arrived at Kelsthorpe Station to pick up some Sodor soccer fans As usual, the fans gave Thomas a big cheer Meanwhile, James went to the docks to collect the Barrow fans who had arrived by ferry from the mainland James was amazed and really happy to see that the Barrow fans were all wearing red and waving red flags the fans were pleased to see James too Look lads, that engine's red! He must be a Barra fan too! Oh yes, that's me! Called James as the Barrow fans climbed on board waving their flags and cheering Red engine! Red engine! Red engine! James peeped his whistle and headed off cheerfully On his way to pick up more passengers, James met Thomas Wow, James! The Barrow fans are wearing red! That's right, Thomas! It's Reds versus Blues today! I wonder who will win? The red team? Or the blue team? Well, let's see who's the best then! Shall we? And with that, James began to puff faster and pulled ahead of Thomas Thomas followed Annie and Clarabel shouted to both of them Now boys, I thought you two were supposed to be working together But James and Thomas didn't listen and raced away <gasps> As they rushed to collect more passengers both engines were determined to be the fastest At Dryor Station next to the soccer ground Thomas and James waited impatiently for their passengers to get off the two engines just wanted to race each other to prove who was best Reds or Blues James's passengers were first to get off and James hurried out of the station <laughs> Reds out in front again, Thomas! But James, I... Oh... 
With not long to go before the soccer game, James arrived back at the docks. He had one more load of passengers to collect. James could see them walking down the ferry's long staircase. Hurry up, slow coaches! Don't you want the red team to win? James really wanted to get back to the soccer ground at Dryor before Thomas. So he decided not to wait. But then there was trouble. Those slow coaches weren't just any passengers. They were the Barrow soccer team. And without the players, there could be no soccer game. Meanwhile, Thomas was racing to get back to Dryor Station before James. He didn't even stop at Kelsthorpe Station, where the referee Sir Topham Hat was waiting for him. Uh, uh, Thomas! Thomas! Stop! And without a referee, you can't have a soccer game. Now Thomas and James were both in trouble, but they didn't know it yet. As Thomas hurried along, his passengers were singing happily. Yay! 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 We're number one! Yay! But just then, Thomas had to stop at a junction, and James rushed past. His passengers were singing too. Thomas peeped his whistle and he puffed as fast as he could after James. The two engines arrived side by side at Dryor Station. Oh, ho, ho! that's another win for the red team, boasted James. No, it's not, Thomas replied crossly. Reds are the best. No, blues are the best. Reds. Well, let's go and see who's the best then. The two engines moved towards the entrance to the Dryor soccer ground. But there was nobody playing soccer. James was still happily singing with his passengers. Red engine! Red engine! James? Red engine! James! Red engine. James. Red. What? Shouldn't the match have started by now? What's the holdup? Get on with it! James shouted. Then Thomas began to realize what was wrong. But I can only see one soccer team. What? Oh, yes. And where's the referee? Uh-oh. Just then, Percy arrived. And then there was trouble. Percy giggled. And out of Percy's coaches climbed the Barrow soccer team. Along with a rather grumpy-looking referee, Sir Topham Hatt. Now Thomas and James knew what had happened, and they knew they were in trouble. Uh-oh! Sir Topham Hatt stood in front of Thomas and James and held up a bright yellow card. Thomas and James, I am giving you both a yellow card. A yellow card? What does that mean, sir? Asked Thomas. It is a warning. I asked you to work together today, but instead you competed against one another. Then Sir Topham Hatt pulled out a bright red card. One more mistake today, and it's a red card for both of you. In a game of soccer, a red card means you're sent off. You are out of the game. We don't want to be uh, out of the game, sir. Quite. After the match, you must work together to take everyone home, regardless of what side they are on, red or blue. Or green. <laughs> Laughed Percy, the green engine. Then Sir Topham Hatt blew his whistle to start the game. Outside the soccer ground, Thomas and James were watching the game together. Thomas, you know this whole Reds versus Blues thing? Yes. Sorry about that, James. We should have been working together. Yes. It's better when we work towards the same goal. Just then, the ball flew out of the soccer ground and landed right on top of Thomas's funnel. Oh! Can we have our ball back, please? A voice called out. Thomas blew the ball out of his funnel with a whoosh. The ball flew back into the soccer ground and right into the goal. The end. Listen out for other adventures with Thomas and Friends Storytime.
Thomas and Friends is a registered trademark of Galen Thomas Limited.